there is a reason why it has taken so long to produce a book that is just about Belizean musicians. And that reason is because historically we have been taught well how to hate ourselves. Historically we have been taught how to accept an inferiority sense of being. So it is not anything surprising to these legends in the room that this weekend 12 international artists will come to Belize and culturally invade our mental, sociological, and cultural space. And hundreds of thousands of dollars will be spent. And the narrative will continue to be that the Belizean artist deserves two or three or four or five or six hundred dollars for what he is worth. We believe that we Belizean artists are among the best in the world and uh, we will always continue to promote and preserve Belizean arts and culture, you know. So this book really is about the Belizean artists to make sure that we have them and they, they know that we care for them and the people really appreciate them so that they could do better, you know, and we could get back with September with celebration the way it was when we used to have all these uh, different events where all Belizean artists used to throw the memorial park to go and see Lord Raven, Mr. Peters, Brother David, and, and all these people, harmonious vibration professionals and all of this, right? That the days where we grew up in and we used to love the arts and the culture so much and we, we, we find out that they slip by, they slip away from us and the young people might feel like, well, they have to go that road because of the way they're here and that's the way they get promoted. But we have our own thing going, we have our own punta, we want block down, we want paranda and all of this and this is the work we from the Association for Belizean First want to continue to promote.